All right, hello and welcome. My name is Haley Taylor. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few cool techniques to edit your fan page. Now, there are so many videos out there already on how to make a fan page, so I'm not going to go into that right now. Today, all I want to discuss with you is how to make these little apps here at the bottom underneath your cover photo. Okay, so you've got your cover photo, you, you got your profile pic, and now you want to kind of jazz it up a little bit more. And I will show you how to make these little guys. These are all bonuses and they're clickable pictures. So I'm going to click on this one. This is the one I will be showing you how to do. They all, you do them all the same way. So I'm just using this as an example, but you click on that picture and it actually takes you to the link that I'm using. It takes you to a video, teaches you how to raise money for your small business, 500 to $5,000. And then at the bottom, you can enter your name and your email, so it's called a capture page. So if you're an online marketer, this is gonna be really, really good for you to have on your fan page. Okay, so let's get started. So when you first set up your fan page, obviously they're all gonna be blanks. I'm just gonna drop this down a little bit to show you what they're gonna look like. They're either gonna have blanks or, um, that actually will not look like that. They're gonna look like blanks. Just pretend that you didn't even see that. Okay, so this is what mine looked like before I actually customized it at the top. So I'm gonna make a brand new one for you guys so you can see the full process. Okay, so you're gonna click on the add button and you're going to go down to find more apps. Now one of the apps that I like to use, especially for, in this case, putting custom pictures is going to be static HTML iframe tab custom icons. You're going to click on that and you're going to install. Now because I already have it installed, I already went through this process, it's going to say that I already have it right here. So just pretend since I already have it, um, you don't see that. So just pretend. La, 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 la. But this is going to be good for once you've already installed it and you go back, how I see how I have, um, well, you can't see it right now, but uh, you see that I have three on my fan page un underneath my cover photo. So I went through this process. I had to install number two, number three. So it allows you to install up to 10. So you're going to choose the fan page that you want this app to be applied to. Hit OK. And then it's going to take you to this page that might be a little confusing to the newbie, but I'm going to show you exactly step by step what to do. OK, so first you're going to edit the picture that shows up on the little square. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, how about I just pull up my fan page so I can show you what I'm talking about? Let's do it that way. Okay. So in order to get these pictures, I created them on PowerPoint. So that's what you're going to be doing. Let me go back to where I was. So you're going to go to PowerPoint if you have a Mac computer. And this is what I made. I kind of had some fun with it. Um, you know, I it italicized it, if that's what you call it. And I changed the the color and the font. So I kind of had some fun with it. And then I used something that's free. It's called Jing. And I was able to get a screen capture of just this small box. And I was able to save it to my computer. So that's how I designed them myself. And then once you saved it to your computer, you're going to go to a website called Pick Resize. Okay. And the reason you need to resize the picture is because certain apps will not change the picture unless it's in the exact dimensions that you need to have the, the picture for the box. So in this case, these dimensions, you want to write this down, is 111 by 74. Okay, so you need to have a picture that's exactly 111 by 74. And pickresize.com is a really no-brainer, easy, easy breezy way to do that. So 
Now I made my design on my PowerPoint. I saved it to the computer. I took a screen capture using um, my Jing little icon up here. That is also free. So I'll just go through the motion so you can see. And it's going to be funding method edited. That's just my little name I picked for it. And right underneath at the bottom left, you're gonna see quick resize. And this is where you're gonna plug in the 111 by 74. And you're gonna go, I'm done, quick resize my picture, yo. And then you're gonna save it to your computer. Now I already did this, but I'll just do it for you. So I already saved it. Now um, it's gonna rename it starting with RSZ. So that's how you're gonna find it when you go back into Facebook. So just remember that. I'm sure you'll figure it out though. All right, so now we are back to choose file. So we just resized it, we just saved it using the pick resize online website and now we are gonna find it. RSC funding method edited, perfect. It's gonna fit perfectly. And now you're going to go down to the next step, which is where you want that little square, what link do you want it to go to? You're going to hit URL, and I already have mine up in an open tab, so I'm just going to copy and paste. So whatever URL you want it to forward to, you're just going to plug it in right there. Make sure it doesn't say HTTP twice, which it does. Here we go. Erase. Cool, cool. I usually change it to a thousand. It gives it um, just a nice clean look, hide scroll bars. You can play around with it however you want. And I, for newbies, I would just ignore the fan gate, friend gate stuff. And now you are going to change the tab. Actually, right before we do that, let's name the box. Now if you see, I'll go back to it so I can show you as we're going. See these little titles down below? That's what that is. You're going to want to name it. So we're going to name it Funding Method. Cool. Okay. Change tab image. So you see that dimension 111 by 74. You're like, yeah, I know what you're saying. And I already edited my picture. So choose file. Now you're going to find it again, RSZ, Funding Method Edited. It's going to be the same original name, just with RSZ, just so you don't get confused. Hit Save Settings. And then it's going to hopefully cooperate. Ah. Oh, yeah. You hit Save Settings, Grant Permission. Course, go ahead, allow. What are you going to say? No? Can't say no. You got to allow it. Cool. So at the top, yep, settings have been saved. You're going to view your tab, which is aka your application. Make sure the URL is correct. Yes, it is. That's where I wanted it to go. Go back to your home page, make sure the picture is there. There it is. 21 ways to fund your business, raise 500 to $5,000. And then that's your little title funding method. So that is how you install a new app. Okay. And you can swap them around. You can swap positions with, you know, the other pictures, if you want to rearrange, that's an easy way to edit it. Um, you want to just check it to make sure, click on the box, URL, and everything is working really good. Looks like everything is working perfect. And now I'll be able to capture people, my leads with their first name and email address without even leaving Facebook. So it's like I said, if you're an online marketer, this is going to be something that's really useful to you. And if you want to add another tab, like I said, you can add more. They only allow three, and then after that, you have to drop down box. So you can have, 
you can have, you know, a couple. So if you want to add more, just hit that plus sign. And the original app we used, remember it was called Static iFrame. So you're just going to click that. And it's going to pop up. You're going to hit it. You're going to go to Settings. And scroll down, install another tab. And these are options of the little icons you'll see at the bottom. See how you see spotlights, stars, spotlights. When you add a new tab, you can pick what you want to see. And that's pretty much it. So I think that's about it for right now. That's kind of a good way to jazz up your um, fan page. And in the next video I'm going to be making is how to show you how to connect your YouTube with your fan page. I'll click on it here. So you definitely want to pay attention and watch that video. It's very easy actually, but I had some trouble with it. And I'm going to troubleshoot and show you guys what not to do and what to do. So you have a successful fan page set up and I'll have to go through all of it like I did. So that's what I'm going to show you and you play your YouTube video right inside Facebook again. You never even have to leave Facebook. So it's perfect. Okay, definitely stay tuned for my next video and I think that's a wrap for right now. Um, hopefully you found this useful and leave a comment if you have any questions and I will see you on the next video. Alright, bye guys.